the curse. Everybody gives a shit that the curse is over. It's over. They have to win a playoff game. We said that. It's coming. Give, okay. Dude. Hey, it's coming. I hope so. Just for you. It's 10 and 7. Just for you. All right. It was the night of August 8th, 1996, and the cast and crew of the Titanic, which included James Cameron, producer John Landau, stars Bill Paxton, and Susie Amos. I'm not sure who that is. I have, like, have to look her up. We're ready to wrap the scenes that were they were filming in the present day era, right? Like the old lady. So it's been 84 years or whatever, which drops right. the thing in the water, right? Yeah. Uh, so they're they're wrapping up that part of the fucking the film. They were filming it. What in, a uh, selfish bitch! First off, I know. You're throw the heart of the ocean back in there. It's a historical piece. Not, and but not even that. Donate about, it. You could have donated it. Yeah. Not to a museum. Donate it to the poor people. For right. Whatever. Anyways. Right? You could have done so much other things. You just cast away. They were looking for it. Yeah. Right? You didn't yeah, but you know what? Listen, it created jobs. Looking for created jobs. Um, so this was, they were filming at it, night. It, it, sh- it water. fits with her character because Jack could have fit. Right? Mm. Jack could have fit on that on the with door. Her, right? Mm. She, oh, whoa, I got to keep the, you mean, whoa, keep whoa, the gym whoa. dry. Whoa, that old bitch was Rose? Wasn't she? Was yeah. she? In the yeah, movie, yeah. It's been a long time. Well, I was old that. Rose. I'll old be honest Rose. with you. I'm not even sure I made it through the first. She's telling her story, and that's what the fucking flashback yeah. is. Back I'll, to the I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure I made it through the first VHS. Like, there's two. It was a double decker. <laughs> the only double decker VHS I watched as a kid was Scarface. Braveheart. Yeah, um, Braveheart was a double decker. Oh, yeah, that's right, too. So Scarface, um, Titanic. Anyways, Shearwater, which was right across the street from Halifax Bay. And they're, they're filming at midnight. They broke for lunch. Uh, a local c- catering company had provided, among other options, chowder. 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 Little chowder. So now there's a little contention. James Cameron says it was a muscle chowder. Paxton said it was a uh, clam chowder. But the police report. <laughs> Wait, what? The police report stated <laughs> that it was a lobster chowder. Oh, we're getting into that. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, wait. Question about why yeah, the police yeah, called. It, I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to paint a little fucking. You're like, huh? Your ears prick up. Yeah, You're a yeah they didn't prick up. I was like, why the, how bad was this chowder? <laughs> You're about to Every, find out. Did someone You're die on set? Fucking, did someone die on set? All right. All right. Listening. More than 60 people ate that chowder, and it didn't take long for the effects to take hold. Cameron, who initially thought the shellfish might have contained a paralytic shellfish neurotoxin, which is extremely dangerous. I've seen some reports. Sounds bad. Awful. Sounds bad. uh, Immediately stepped away from the set and vomited. He said, when he returned to the set, there was nobody there. I was standing at the monitors near the camera and the room was empty. It was like the twilight zone, he, he stated. So when they tried to track, when he learned to track people down, I said, some people were laughing. Some people were crying. Some people were throwing up. This is Bill Paxson. Uh, one minute I felt okay. The next minute I felt so goddamn anxious. I wanted to breathe in a paper bag. Game over. <laughs> I know. I did so much joke, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do that. Uh, Game the, over, man. Over, man. Game over. The chaotic scene at the Dartmouth General Hospital makes for one of history's best stories. Um, everyone affected was presenting... Um, Oh, I lost my place. I fucked it up. So, anyways, this is from one of the the co- coworkers ex- explaining the scene at the at the uh, hospital. Eventually, we all got put in these cubicles with curtains around us, but no one wanted to stay in the cubicles. Um, everyone was out in the aisles and jumping around into other people's. People had a lot of energy. Some people were in wheelchairs, flying down the hallways. It was like everyone what? was high. <laughs> uh, James Cameron was stabbed in the face by a crew member with a pen. Interesting. Okay. Why? People were moaning, crying, wailing, collapsed on tables and gurneys. Um, <laughs> members of the crew had started a conga line and were marching around the emergency department. Got an acid. Still operating under the assumption that the crew had a very, very weird case of food poisoning, the hospital staff asked them to ingest liquid charcoal. The police were called later in the afternoon and a toxology report was done which revealed they all tested positive for pcp <laughs> what some powdered PCP somebody laid somebody fucking laced the chowder with pcp with pcp of all drugs hmm. this is 100 percent real and 100 percent happened 
Like All right, so series. I don't know if you guys know. How but old was Leonardo DiCaprio in this movie? He was like in this scene. This is oh. the present day oh. stuff. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so I don't know if you guys have heard much about James Cameron, but this guy's like a notorious fucking asshole. Yeah, oh, Super yeah. Super hard to work with. Like, filming filming days with him are excruciating. Just crazy long hours. He was hard on people. Like, remember when he was making fucking Aquaman with Vinny Chase? Right, right, right. Super right. fucking hard. <laughs> right? Yeah. So a lot of people suspect that, you know, one of the crew members kind that was recently enough. fired went to get try and get revenge with him. And everybody knows um, revenge is a dish best served with PCP. Yeah, of course. So he everyone fucking just, knows James Cameron's just absolute taste for PCP. But they literally nuked over fucking 60 people with PCP on this set. Like, could you imagine working in that emerge? But it doesn't sound like they're ha- they were having a bad time. Something some people are freaking the fuck out. Some James I think some Cameron people have to be stabbed sedated. in the face with a pen. So. With a pen, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but what's <laughs> laughed about it? What is PCP? What kind of drug is it? Buddy. That's even, I'm gonna see like, if I what, can what find. What is PC? I, like I know. Hold on, let me see if we can find a good video. Because people, um, that's the drug people that, like, on PCP. People who are like they, they have they, no like, like take the taser and they're just like ah. Yes, they have no pain receptors. They could just like yeah. lift shit oh, yeah, and like bro. shred it, their tendons, and they don't even care. Well, it's, a, it's a hallucinogen, right? Is that what it is? So like, this is but, when you're going to be going fucking wild on PCP. Like it's. Is that the oh, people man. you see on the street where they got that? You know that you know the you know the, like the rock. No. You know okay, so you you're thinking meth. Meth is when you do the fucking and you move in and you can't stop and fucking. No, I'm not. I'm and, not talking about the people. I'm talking about the. People who are standing on the street corner just flailing around, not really doing it with their jacket, throw it down. They're like, ah! No, that's, ah. Yeah, that's, that's meth. PCP oh, is, is like, oh yeah, PCP is like, I see a fucking giant lizard and it's coming to kill me. Oh, Ooh, right, it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. I thought, I, don't, I didn't know it was a hallucinogen. That's crazy. Oh yeah. So he, they all got dosed. Angel dust, right? Does. This is called PCP. P- they said Rodney King was on PCP when that happened. Like, yeah, uh, PCP is called Angel Dust. It's called yeah. fucking uh, what else do they call it? I like PCP was a big thing. I feel like when I was like they, 13, you don't 14. see it anymore. You yeah. don't see people don't really use PCP anymore. Yeah. I mean, we're, but we also live in a place where like it's it's very uh, like down. Where down is the most common thing you're going to run into. Right. Down this- inside. Are the two most common drugs you'll see at the street level? Mm. And if you, sorry, uh, heroin and meth. Yeah, heroin and meth. Or Those you the- mix them and you get a goofball. <laughs> That's legit. That's real. Like you shoot them both at the same time. Yeah, it's a lot of people mix. Like, well, yeah. Or smoke both. But at the usually same time. smoke it. You don't really shoot it usually, but usually. So you're smoke telling it, me but. that guy on the street corner flailing around, whipping all his clothes about, trying to pack his his endless suitcase that he keeps unpacking. Like, you know around. when it looks like they're dancing to like fucking yeah. disco or some shit. That's yeah. meth. That's the meth. That's meth. Dance, and that's buddy. a downer. Yeah. No, it's meth just... isn't a downer. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say because down down is is heroin or fentanyl. Oh, okay. opioids. Yeah. That's what they call yeah. down. Yeah. Side is meth. Yeah. We just <laughs> what? Well, I don't know why it's called side. Why side? Yeah, what's side mean? What's that? Because the side, side effects up? are fucking crazy. Oh, <laughs> what's up? I, don't know. I just made that up. What's up? I don't know. I don't think we call anything meth or uh, anything up. Uppers? uppers? Well, well, uppers maybe. What about uh, the thing is like street at the street level? It's too expensive. Like a lot of people don't. Nobody buys coke from fuck. Like junkies don't buy coke. All right. You can't afford here's, here's it. It's like that's an expensive drug. You have to drug. try one street drug. You have heroin. To. Heroin have to. all day. If I can get, if I can get pure heroin, bro. No, no, I no, no. You guys? don't get a choice. You don't get a choice. Oh, <laughs> you you just, you're getting like this is some <laughs> sketchy guy. He's like, I'm gonna. We're playing. We're, we're playing Russian roulette here. You yeah, and no he's idea. like, yeah. what do you want? I got, I got all these street level drugs, and we're not telling you can't choose DMT. Like you can't oh, choose mushrooms. My first pick. Yeah, you can't choose those. Like I'm talking street drugs. What do you take? Uh, yeah, well, I don't hear it. It's so hard here because it's gonna kill you. Well, I had a rapper fucking been cut and I had a rapper, like, like, You say street drugs like all street drugs now. It's just fentanyl. Like everything. <laughs> no, Dan. Dan, you're 100 percent right. Because, I know. Like, like it's street level heroin. It doesn't exist. Yeah, there's no such thing as fentanyl now. They, everything is. Well, it, it's all fentanyl now. Yeah. It's all you know fentanyl what? and stepped on with fucking everything else. I I, know, I knew a couple of people that became heroin addicts. 
from high, our high school. I don't want to okay, see call them up. Let's find out. Yeah, but how uh, they doing? <laughs> no, but <laughs> dude, let's go back yeah. to this question. I, I would definitely if. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.